Hey team, welcome back and thanks for joining us if it's your first time here. Now today I'll be walking you through how to set up the Facebook Business Manager and I'll also break down how you can make the most of the Business Manager in 2021. Okay, now just quickly, before you go ahead and set up your Facebook Business Manager, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to grow your small business online. And with that quick note, let's go ahead and dive into the Facebook Business Manager. Okay, so the plan for today's tutorial is to create a fresh Facebook Business Manager account. And that way I can guide you through all the important features and components you need to know to really make the most of the Business Manager. Now it's free to create, all you need to do is head over to business.facebook.com and create a free account. Now I highly recommend a Business Manager for anyone that's getting involved in any form of marketing on Facebook. So even if you're not doing paid advertising through an ad account, but you have a Facebook business page and you're engaging in some form of content marketing through Facebook, then I highly recommend you set up a business manager. Setting up a business manager allows you to manage all your Facebook business assets in one place. So this can be your business pages, your ad accounts, your management between all your different pages and accounts, uh, your Instagram accounts and other marketing tools. So you want to keep everything in one place. And that's where the Facebook business manager comes in as you can manage all these business assets in one place. So what we're going to do is navigate over to create account. And for the purpose of this tutorial, what I've done is actually gone ahead and created a new Facebook user so I can guide you through a completely fresh business manager account. Okay, so firstly, what we need to do is actually add our business information. So here you want to add your business name, then your name. So for the purpose of this tutorial, we're just going to use this example name here, Sam Grant, and then down here, add your business email address. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. And then once you've added your business name and business email, come down and click submit. Then here we just need to confirm our email address. So head over to your email address and find the confirmation email. Okay, so once you've found the confirmation email, just come down and click confirm now. Okay, so here we are on our fresh Facebook Business Manager account. Now, if we navigate over to Syndio Media, this is the name of the business account we just created. You can see that we have Business Manager Accounts and we have one over here. Now we're currently in business settings. If you haven't automatically arrived here, then what you can do is navigate up to these nine dots, business tools, come down and select business settings. And that's gonna take you to this area here. Now there's three important areas we're gonna talk about today, and that is people. So connecting the right people to your business manager. And that way you can manage assets within your business manager, and you can manage people, clients, or others that are part of your business manager. Then we wanna come down to pages and connect pages and then connect a ad account. Now, if you're a business owner and you only have one business that you wanna manage with your Facebook business manager, then that is completely fine and still important for you. You don't have to be managing multiple accounts and multiple pages. This is still equally important for one business. If you just wanna manage one business through the business manager, that is because if you have a ad account, for example, and that gets disabled by Facebook because this can happen then you don't lose any of your other business information you just need to create a new business account and connect that to your business manager so remember all your assets your online assets your Facebook business pages your Instagram accounts your ad accounts these are all going to be connected through your business manager Okay, so firstly, what we need to do is actually allocate a business page to this account. So what I'm going to do is click pages and then come over here and click add. Now down here we can add a page. So if you already own a page, you've created one under your own profile, but it's not part of your business manager, then you can claim that page and move it to your business manager. Or you can come down here and request access to a page. So for example, if you have a client that has a Facebook business page and you want to start managing it, then you can request access to that page. Or you can go ahead and create a new page. If you don't already have a business page for your business, you need a business page to be part 
of your business manager. So what I'm going to do is actually add a page because we've already got a page and I'm going to come up here and type in my business page. And this is the page that I want to manage in my business manager. So remember, this is a page I've already created. So I'm going to come down and click add page. And as you can see, because I'm a page admin of this page, my request has been approved automatically. However, if I was not a page admin, then I'd have to wait for the admin to approve my request. But because this is already approved, I'm going to come down and click close. Then again, we want to do the same with a ad account. So I'm going to click add account and then come over to add. And then down here, we have the same options, add an ad account. So what we already own, request access to an ad account. This could be a client of ours or create a new ad account. So what I'm going to do for the purpose of this tutorial is actually go ahead and create a new ad account for this business manager. And here I'm going to name this ad account the same as my business manager because I'm just going to manage one business and that is Cindio Media and Practice because it's a practice account. So I'm going to type that in here and then make sure your time zone and currency is correct and then come down and click next. And then up here you want to select one of two options. This ad account will be used for my business, Cindio Media Practice or another business or client. So for example, if you're creating a ad account for a client, then you'd go ahead and click another business or client. But because we're creating an ad account for this business, then we're gonna go ahead and click my business and click create. And then here we wanna navigate under name where it says Sam Grant. Now this is the only individual that is part of our Facebook business manager. We haven't added anyone else. So what I wanna do is click this individual, which is the practice user account that we created for this tutorial, and then navigate over here. And with each of your users, you can give them particular access to add account. So for this add account, I wanna give Sam Grant full admin access. So I'm gonna come down here and click admin access and then assign. And then here you can see that your ad account has been successfully created. So what you want to do now is make sure you add payment information if you're ready to start advertising with this ad account. So go ahead and do that. We're going to leave that out for now and come over and click close. So again, like I said, you want to make sure that you add your payment information. You will be prompted twice, but we're going to click exit for now. Okay, so now that we've already connected a Facebook business page to our Facebook business manager, and we've gone ahead and created an ad account for this business manager, what we can do now is navigate up to people. And this is where you can go ahead and add other people to help you manage your assets in your business manager. So for example, at the moment we've got Sam Grant. What I can do is navigate up to add, and this is where you can invite people to join your business manager. So for example, over here, I can enter someone's email. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter an email address. And then once you've added one or more emails, come down to assign business role. Now you can choose employee access or admin access. Now it's recommended that you add people as employees because that way you can assign specific accounts and tools for them to operate rather than giving them complete access to your entire account. So as you can see, that is already selected. Then come down and click next. And then under assign access, this is where we can assign specific assets and tools to the individuals that we've added to our business manager. So this is the individual that we've just added to our business manager. What we want to do now is assign access to specific assets. Within this business manager, we only have one business page and we only have one ad account as you can see down here. So with business pages, I can come over here and select this business page and then over here, I have options to give access. Okay, so I want this individual here, or let's say employee, to have standard access to this page. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn that on like I've done so there. And then once you're happy with the access level that you've given to that individual, so again, I could come down to add accounts and I could click on this add account. And again, I could go standard access. Once you're happy with the type of access that this individual has with each of your assets, then navigate over to invite. And then you'll have a summary of that information here. So come down and click done, or if you wanna add more people, you can do so here. So I'm gonna select done. And that is a quick overview of all the essentials you need to know to really get started with the business manager. Now, if we navigate up to these business tools and come down to billing, 
this is where you can add your billing information. So remember we skipped that at the beginning. What you want to do is navigate over to payment settings and then navigate over to add payment methods. So you want to make sure that you have a payment method in here when you start advertising and start using your ads account within your ads manager. So what I'm going to do now is navigate back to our business home. And here under home, this is basically your business manager dashboard. This is where you can see up to date information about the assets that you've connected with your business manager. So as you can see, I've recently sent an invitation to this individual here. I've also got one business page and I've got one ad account and I can see basic information about this ad account. Then over here, I've got alerts. So if anything happens within this account, or whatever is happening within our business manager in regards to all the assets that we're managing, we're going to get alerts over here. And that is essentially everything I wanted to cover in this beginner's tutorial to help you really get started with the business manager. And there we have it guys, that is it for this beginner's tutorial on the Facebook Business Manager. Now if you have any questions about this tutorial, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and comment down below and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And that way I'll see you in the next tutorial. Take care guys.